Thomas reports. Early morning at Colpoise Bay near Wyerton, a solemn procession to a waiting boat, a short ride out into the bay and a pause, then a quiet farewell to an old friend. May he rest in peace. With those words, the cremated remains of Wyatt and Willie were spread across the waters of Georgian Bay. Not a shadow was cast under the cloudy sky. The forecast for Willie, an eternal spring. It, it certainly uh, makes you uh, think back and think of the good times we had and, uh, you know, the sad times because uh, it certainly was tough on uh, a lot of people, not just kids, but uh, older people. It was on February 2nd of this year, Groundhog Day, that the nation was shocked with the news of Willie's passing. Pictures of the Wyerton weather rodent tucked into his tiny coffin were seen around the world and prompted an outpouring of grief the likes of which few groundhogs have ever seen. What a fine opportunity to pay homage to Canada's premier weather prognosticator, the late Wyerton Willie. The public was invited to remember Willie at a special Canada Day memorial service. Dozens of people braved the driving rain to gather at the foot of the world's largest groundhog statue, Wyerton's lasting tribute to its most famous son. Even as the flag flies near Big Willie and people mourn Old Willie, there is hope in Young Willie. We're looking forward to uh, uh, a new Willie that uh, we will have for next year, uh, Young Willie. Young Willie, he's got some mighty big paws to fill. Has he got what it takes to predict the weather like his legendary relative? We'll know for sure next February 2nd. Richard Thomas, CKCO News, Wyerton. Coming up on CKCO News at 11... Now this today for one of Ontario's most famous four-legged citizens. Kirk Scott has more on the life of Wyerton Willie. <laughs> opportunity to pay homage to Canada's premier weather prognosticator, the late Wharton Wally. Suitably somber weather for a somewhat solemn occasion. It was last Groundhog Day the world reeled to learn Wharton Wally had passed on. But this was not meant to be a sad ceremony. Uh, Wally brought us a lot of happiness over a lot of years and uh, we don't want to make it any anything of a downer because he never was we had a, bar a party all the time for him meanwhile two willies in waiting are being groomed for their new job by handler sam brower how old are they now sam oh a couple of months like maybe three four months i'm not sure so this spring's uh groundhogs well it's time to put the old groundhog to rest and uh and usher the new one in the uh the spirit of willie will always live on Thanks for the memories, Willie! Happy birthday, Canada! God save the Queen! In Wyerton, I'm Kirk Scott reporting for News Now. And I thought Debbie was Canada's most famous prognosticator. Anyway, time now to visit Jim Van Horn, who's serving for up Willie. the sports. For Willie. Yeah. <laughs>